In this video, we'll introduce some terminology that will come up uh, as we begin to address solving partial differential equations. We'll focus on two particular types of problems. One of them is known as the Dirichlet problem, and it involves finding, uh, solving, I guess, the partial differential equation for your quantity u subject to it, the value of u specified at the boundaries. So in the context of the heat equation, this could be uh, you have a rod uh, and you're given the temperature at the end of, uh, of the rod. So you could have, let's say a metallic rod like that. And you're told what temperature is here and what the temperature is here. And then you're asked to find what the heat distribution is along this entire rod. That would be an example of a Dirichlet problem. The other type of problem is known as the Neumann problem. And this one involves solving a partial differential equation subject to the derivatives of u specified at the boundaries. So if you again, take the example of a rod, it could be that you're given what the derivative of u is at the ends of your rod. This could be the heat flux at the two ends of the rod. That would be an example of a Neumann problem. The other uh, definition that we'll need is the two equations that we'll focus on, which are the, the heat equation and Laplace's equation. These are both linear partial differential equations. And what that means is if we find two different solutions to these equations, because remember, uh, they don't necessarily have unique solutions, then their superposition is also a solution. So if you want a new two, these you ones and new twos are not the same as up here. These are two different solutions. Okay, so if U1 and U2 are two distinct solutions of these equations of, or of any linear partial differential equation, then alpha U1 plus beta U2 is also a solution to our partial differential equations for a given set of boundary conditions. And we can generalize this So if we have n solutions to our uh, linear PDE, then the linear superposition of all of these, summing from i to n, This is also a solution to the PDE. So no matter how many solutions we find, we're always allowed to superimpose them. And because it's the, the equations are linear, these also have to satisfy the uh, partial differential equation. And this is known as the principle of superposition. And this is this principle is key to being able to construct uh, a solution to many of these partial differential equations uh, using the method of separation of variables, which we'll introduce in the next video through an example. 
So in the next video, we'll begin going through the uh, technique of separation of variables for solving uh, the steady state heat equation, so Laplace's equation in Cartesian coordinates. Uh, and we'll see how the principle of superposition comes to our, our rescue in a way to be able to construct a solution to this partial differential equation.